we have a huge day in store for you, one that very much picks up on all the key themes that we've been surfacing over the past couple of days. And all those commonalities and connections between us, um, they really reinforce to me that we're all here engaged in building a movement. Uh, we're building a movement around the once radical idea that civil servants can be entrepreneurial, that bureaucracies can be creative and agile. Our movement's aspiration is that the public sector can innovate effectively, routinely, even boldly, but partnership and investment are required to help get it there. Let's step back for a moment and consider how far this movement has grown. It was only six years ago that the world's very first behavioral insights unit, the Nudge Unit, opened its doors at 10 Downing Street. Today, there are scores of city, state, national efforts using behavioral insights to catalyze innovation around the world. It was also only six years ago that Boston City Hall opened its Office of New Urban Mechanics, not the world's first innovation unit at the city level, but arguably its most famous. Today, hundreds of innovation teams, innovation labs, innovation funds have popped up in cities around the globe. And last night, I learned that it was only six years ago that uh, Latin America got its first municipal digital unit. It was Rudy Borman and his team in Buenos Aires created the first municipal digital unit. Of course, today, that's commonplace in cities across the continent and around the globe, and digital innovation is driving service improvements, better public engagement, and on and on. So the public sector innovation movement is vibrant, and growing at a very exciting pace. But of course, we all know there's still a long way to go. Not enough of these innovation efforts have seeped into the DNA. Our goal has to be getting beyond that innovation office to a true innovation culture. At Bloomberg Philanthropies, we believe cities are places where this can happen and is happening. Not only because the times demand more and more innovation from cities, but because mayors are focused on more and better innovation. They want that, continuous innovation. And they're beginning to bring the intentionality the movement needs to hit its tipping point. So what are those leaders doing to get beyond islands of excellence to create a real culture of creativity and innovation, to create more agile bureaucracies? We see four key things. First, they are getting much more rigorous around experimentation. So that may mean they're developing evaluation units, they're conducting alpha beta tests, they're launching minimum viable products, they're prototyping more and more in more and more program areas to learn and adjust before launching programs at scale. For those of you interested in the art of prototyping, don't miss a session featuring our own Stephanie Wade and members of the Tel Aviv and Boston innovation teams later today. Second, these cities are building their capacity to surface, capture, and analyze insights, both quantitative and qualitative. Insights from data and design are allowing cities to see problems earlier and far more clearly and design services that are far more citizen-centric. Third, they're professionalizing their capacity to partner. Partner with citizens, with entrepreneurs, and with other cities. That's about extending reach, tapping skills and knowledge that are not resident within City Hall, and building legitimacy. Today, Tessie Britton will showcase the many creative ways cities engage residents Later, we'll hear from Sasha and Julia Hasselmeyer about the way their firm, City Mart, is engaging cities to help them find better partners and better solutions to address urban issues. And finally, it's in these cities that city leaders are actively challenging norms and calling for innovation. Here's the thing. Public innovation remains at the margins unless mayors demand it and keep asking for more of it. We have heard from so many mayors driving powerful innovation over the past couple of days. Today, Seattle Ed, uh, Mayor Ed Murray will talk about Seattle's efforts to innovate affordability and the way that they deal with homelessness, a front page issue in so many American cities and truly one of those issues that we know would benefit from innovation and the tools and the techniques that we're all talking about 
uh, over the past couple of days. So when cities get these four elements right, the potential to push innovation into the DNA becomes possible. At Bloomberg Philanthropies, we are so proud to support the quest for continuous innovation, to find, support, and elevate great innovation from around the globe through programs that build innovation skills and innovation capacity in city halls, through efforts that equip mayors to use data and evidence and engage citizens in more powerful ways, through open innovation programs like our Mayor's Challenges that create incentives that help cities take risks and think up bold new solutions to pressing consistent urgent ur urban challenges, through convenings like City Lab, where we've engaged scores of leading cities and their teams uh, around best practices and emerging ideas, and moving forward through new efforts like our partnership with Harvard University, which will provide cutting edge leadership development to hundreds of mayors around the globe. So this map on one hand is a reflection of all the places Bloomberg Philanthropies is finding and trying to support awesome public innovation and great civil servant entrepreneurs. It's also a call to action to everyone in this room. City governments the world over are hungry for the tools, knowledge, and resources to innovate better. These innovators desire community, role models, peers they can learn from. We all know they can undertake incredibly exciting innovation projects uh, that move their cities forward, but cities need our sustained and active assistance to get, to get that culture of continuous innovation and really accelerate their gains. So that perhaps is our mission and our work together. Uh, with that, we have another great day for you. We're so happy that you're here with us at City Lab uh, onward, and please enjoy the day. Thank you very much. Thank you.